Have you been thinking about moving to New Hampshire? Maybe you're relocating for a job, wanting to retire in a tax-free state, or you just want to change the scenery and you're kind of wondering what to expect for housing costs. Well, in this video, I'm going to go over the current and the past year housing market, and I'm also going to give a real life breakdown of what to expect for the cost and mortgage payment of a house. Then I will also touch base on the rental market in case you're not in a position to buy, but you're still looking to move to New Hampshire. So stay tuned. My name is Shane Moynihan. I am a real estate agent and investor here in Keene, New Hampshire. And if you're someone that's looking to move here, please feel free to reach out. I would love to connect and see if I can assist you and be any help in that process of moving. So before we start, I just wanna go over these numbers I'm gonna be running through for the market is mainly for the Keene and Cheshire County, specifically in New Hampshire, just because that's the area I cover and have the most knowledge in. So I wanna give you the most knowledgeable information. Starting things off with the housing statistics for Keene and Cheshire County. So for Keene, New Hampshire, as of filming, which is November 14th, 2022, there's actively 14 single family homes listed and an average list price of $294,900. As for Cheshire County in general, there's 113 single family homes listed with a median list price of $365,000. As far as the past 12 months, Keene has had 238 single family home sales with a median days on market of just seven and a median sales price of $284,500. Now for Cheshire County, there has been 934 home sales in the past 12 months and a median sales price of $315,000. Days on market of eight to one more day than key. And I just wanna go over the reason I use median instead of average is just because if there's one really big listing or one really big house sale in the million dollars range, compare that to the ones that are in like the $300,000 range, it's just gonna skew the numbers and not actually give an accurate image of what the real estate market is like. So now I'm gonna go over a breakdown of if you bought this specific house for 309,000, it's a three bedroom, one bath, little over 1,300 square feet right here in Keene, New Hampshire. So the numbers I'm gonna be running are ran with a 6.62% interest rate, which is just the national average off mortgage news daily as time of the filming. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So you could get into this property with a 5% down conventional loan that would equate to about $15,450 down payment and your principal interest payment would be about $1,878 per month, and that is before taxes and insurance. Now you could purchase this with a 3.5% down FHA, which would even require a smaller down payment, but the reason I did a 5% down conventional for this example is just because you don't know, everyone's in a different situation where they could have already used an FHA loan, so they don't have that option. That's why I'm gonna be using a conventional. And now I wanna add, New Hampshire does have pretty high property taxes. And the reason being is because there's no uh, state sales tax or state income tax. So where we kind of get hit a little harder is with the property taxes. So for this property, it's about $6,400 a year for property taxes. And the average insurance, home insurance in New Hampshire I think was $724 and that was on a house that's about 250,000. So I just bumped that up to 800 just to run these numbers. So with everything included, your mortgage payment would be about $2,477 per month. And this does not include PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. This is a requirement for any loan that is considered low down payment, meaning less than 20% down. The reason I didn't include this is because everywhere is a little bit different and the price point varies. So this could be a potentially another 80 to like $150 per month added on. But again, this depends on who you get your loan through and what price point you're working at. So that's why I just left it out. And that PMI will go away but it will take a little bit because you need 20% equity in your house before that can get removed. And now to touch upon the rental market. So 
The average rent in Keene for a one bedroom is about $1,300 a month. And for a two bedrooms, about $1,600 a month. And anything above that, like a three bedroom or four bedroom, they're very rare. So I just didn't include them, but they're probably anywhere from 1800 to 2000 depending on if you're renting just a big multifamily unit or if you're actually renting like a single family house. Those are usually a little bit more expensive around this area. And as you can see, this is kind of what you'll see across New Hampshire, except for a couple outliers like Dover, Portsmouth, Amherst. Kind of those towns will see a little bit higher just because the houses there are worth more and rents go up because of that. Also, as a landlord myself, I will say most of these average prices are probably not including utilities. Usually in New Hampshire, I see a lot of the times the landlord will pay for things like lawn care, snow removal, water, sewer, and trash. And then everything else is kind of on the tenant. So you'll have to take into account costs for heating and electric and like TV and internet, stuff like that. And if you're a tenant and need like fuel assistance, there are programs that do that. So you can look that up. I think it's just called New Hampshire Fuel Assistance Program. And it's a really good resource. So that pretty much sums up the cost of housing here in New Hampshire. And I am planning on doing a cost of living video. So if you have any specific things that you're wondering what the cost is here, just drop a comment below and I'll be happy to add that in or incorporate in the video somehow to get that answered for you. And if this video has brought any value to you, I'd really appreciate a like on it. Then once again, if you're someone that is looking to move to New Hampshire, please feel free to reach out. Again, contact info here and down below in the comments. And yeah, just reach out. It's my job. I appreciate helping people out. And until next time.